of our Divine Mother from the book Rays of Light. These are the sayings of our Divine Mother from the book Collected Works of our Divine Mother, Volumes 14 and 15. Page 40 Topic Sincerity Our Divine Mother says, Sincerity is the key of the divine doors. Sincerity means to lift all the moments of the being to the level of the highest consciousness and realization already attained. Sincerity exacts the unification and harmonization of the whole being in all its parts and moments around the central divine will. Date 21st Feb 1913 be sincere, says our Divine Mother. Be sincere, always sincere, more and more sincere. Sincerity exacts from each one that in his thoughts, his feelings, his sensations and his actions he should express nothing but the central truth of his being. Date 4th April 1915 to be sincere, all the parts of the being must be united in their aspirations for the divine, not that one part wants and other parts refuse or revolt. To be sincere in the aspiration to want the divine for the divine's sake, not for fame or name or prestige or power or any satisfaction of vanity. If earnestly you say to the divine, I want only thee, I want only thee, then the divine will arrange all the circumstances in such a way that you are compelled to be sincere. Date 8th June 1954 All division in the being is an insincerity. The greatest insincerity is to dig an abyss between your body and the truth of your being. When an abyss separates the true being from the physical being, nature fills it up immediately with all kinds of adverse suggestions, the most formidable of which is fear and the most pernicious doubt. Allow nothing anyway to deny the truth of your being. This is sincerity. Date 7th July 1957 The greatest enemies of a perfect sincerity are preferences either mental, vital or physical, and preconceived ideas. It is these obstacles that one must overcome. Before the eternal consciousness, a drop of sincerity has more value than an ocean of pretension and hypocrisy. An uncompromising sincerity is the surest way to spiritual achievement. Do not pretend be. Do not promise. Act. Do not dream. Realize. Be honest, says our Divine Mother. Be honest towards yourself. No self-deception. Be sincere towards the Divine. No bargaining in the surrender. Be straightforward with humanity. No pretense and show. Date 25th June 1963 it is not necessary to wait for the others to become sincere in order to become sincere yourself. Date 9th March 1968 Next topic, Divine Love An old Chaldean legend, a Divine Mother has a story for us here. A mother says, long ago, very long ago in the desert land that is now Arabia, a divine being incarnated on earth to awaken it to the supreme law. As one would expect, he was persuaded by men, misunderstood, suspected, hunted after. Mortally wounded by his assailants, he wished to die alone quietly so that his work might be accomplished and pursued by them, he fled. Suddenly, in the broad barren plain, a tiny pomegranate bush appeared. The saviour stole under its low branches in order to give up his body in peace, and at once the bush expanded miraculously, increased itself, widened, became deep and luxuriant, so that when the pursuers passed by, they did not even suspect that the one they were chasing was hidden there, and they continued on their way. 
while drop by drop the sacred blood fell fertilizing the soil the bush covered itself with marvelous flowers scarlet enormous cluster of petals innumerable drops of blood these are the flowers that for us express and hold the divine love date 14th november 1955 Our divine mother says only he who loves can recognize love those who are incapable of giving themselves innocent sincere love will never recognize love anywhere and the more the love is divine that is to say unselfish the less they can recognize it to become conscious of the divine love all other love must be abandoned next topic divine love and human love lean more exclusively on the divine love says our divine mother lean more exclusively on the divine love when one receives the divine love of what value can be human love date 2nd september 1939 one thing only i can tell you says our divine mother only one thing i can tell you that whatever the sincerity simplicity and purity of the relation between two human beings it shuts them off more or less from the direct divine force and help and limits their strength light and power only to the sum of their potentialities date 15th feb 1950 If there is somewhere in some part of your being still the need for human affection and love it is better to go through the experience of life it is the best preparation for the yoga the thirst for affection and love is a human need but it should be quenched only if it turns towards the divine the thirst for affection and love is a human need but it can be quenched only if it turns towards the divine as long as it seeks satisfaction in human beings it will always be disappointed or wounded they always speak of the rights of love but love only love's only right is the right of self giving without self giving there is no love but self giving is very rare in human love which is full of selfishness and demands date 15th august 1955 so long as their ego is there one cannot love love cannot be expressed love alone can love love alone can conquer the ego self love is the greatest obstacle divine love is the great remedy you feel lonely because you feel the need to be loved learn to love without demand to love just for the joy of loving the most wonderful joy in the world and you will never again feel lonely date 11th april 1966